question number two of May June 2022, paper 2 1. The references in, given in red. Fatima is a sole trader. She prepares her financial statements to, to the end of March each year. Okay, so March is the year end, March 31st. At 31st March 2022, Fatima's ledger account balances include the following included the following. We have some revenue, sales returns, or basically sales and then sales returns, purchases, rent and rates, some expenses, more expenses, more expenses, some income, discount received as an income, opening inventory, assets and their provision for depreciation, essentially the accumulated depreciation. That's thirty nine thousand. 40 is your accumulated depreciation so far until which date it's until 1st april 2021 right at the beginning of the year because uh, i'm pretty sure they have not considered the latest depreciation for this year there's trade receivables and payables that's your current assets and liabilities there's provision for doubtful debts there's cash drawings and then there's opening capital okay the following information is also available there's closing inventory there's some goods for own use, or let's say goods drawings. And then there's depreciation information. Then there is some um, accrued wages. Now remember, accrued wages are unpaid wages. They were due, but they were not paid. So these will have to be paid and will be considered as an expense for this year. Even though you didn't pay, you will still count that as an expense. We're talking about <coughs> the accrued wages here this one you'll still have to pay them ultimately you didn't pay you still record that's the matching principle rent includes a payment of 1500 for three months from march until 31st may when does the year end 31st may i mean march sorry 31st march year ends so one month was paid okay but the rest of the two months is paid in advance so from 15000 uh 15000 which is for three months Wait, that's 15,000, it's 1,500. 1,500 divided by 3, that's value of 1 month times 2. <clears throat> that's 1,000. That 1,000 is paid in advance, so we remove it. It doesn't belong to this year, it belongs to the next year. Although we have paid, it will be recorded in the bank as a payment, but in the income statement, we apply the matching principle. Only the relevant figures which belong to this year will be entered those information or let's say those payments and receipts belonging to the next or previous period will have to be removed and the recoverable trade receivable should be written off as an expense in the income statement of course the provision for awful debts is said to be at three percent of the receivables so we will have to recalculate look at the increase or decrease the change previously it was 156 we don't know how much it is now okay be careful you won't just take 3% of this. That would be wrong. Don't just take 6,400 times 3%. Now you may ask, why is that? Don't forget you have the $200 irrecoverable debt. We need to remove that. Okay. So, well, that's a long income statement to make. Um, it's going to be very time consuming. So, I am considering just showing you guys the mark scheme answer, answer to this. So first we discuss it, we do all the calculations together, but then I reveal what the mark scheme says. Okay? Fine. Um, okay, so no adjustments required to the revenue. You start with that, you start with revenue minus the sales return. That's going to be the top of your income statement. Next, you have the cost of sales section under which we write purchases any purchase returns none but we rem remember we have uh, by the way under cost of sales you start with opening inventory first that goes into your cost of sales section opening inventory plus purchases but then um, remember purchase itself has an adjustment okay uh, which is good for own use there we subtract from purchases okay subtracted from purchases and uh, then opening your three plus purchases of course after deducting the 1300 minus the closing inventory gives us the cost of sales fine we get to the cost of sales next after the cost of sales 
we take our net revenue minus the cost of sales we get the gross profit on top of the gross profit we add to gross profit discount received and then all the expenses will be deducted after this that's all it's really simple i will show you the answer in a few minutes i just want to show you all the calculations first depreciation says it's the fix uh, sorry it's a it's the reducing balance method 20 percent. so what you do take the eighty thousand minus thirty nine zero four zero which gives us the net book value of forty nine sixty that's the net book value and of course you take what percentage where is it twenty percent will be the depreciation charge eight one nine two will be the depreciation charge for the year okay hopefully you get that that's how reducing balance works next it says accrued wages were 800 so you just add that to your wages where are the wages and previously calculated 1000 belongs to the next year under the rent so we remove 1000 doesn't belong to this year belongs to the next one we don't have to count it this year's as this year's uh, expense irrecoverable debts will be expensed okay and then finally the three percent of the trade receivables how do you calculate that well you take your receivables 6400 minus the 200 irrecoverable 6200 and then times that by three percent what is the new provision 6200 times uh, 0 0.03 which is three percent is 186 now hopefully you understand how provisions are updated previously it was 156 now it's 186 it's an increase of well 186 minus 156 30 dollars which will be your expense okay only the change in the provision for off that goes into the income statement if it increases it's an expense if it decreases it's and income okay so uh, i will show you the answer to this rather than doing everything from scratch we have covered all the necessary adjustments these workings please show them at the bottom of your income statement referenced with you know w1 maybe and put all the workings related to it okay so for reference i will show you what the answer looks like okay there we go the income statement which we just discussed there's revenue minus returns says returns that's covered what one mark then there's cost of sales section opening inventory minus purchases and within purchases you have to remove the remove uh, remove the goods for own use and then the net figure will be deducted with uh, closing inventory that gives us three eight uh, two double two double zero minus three one two zero gives us three five zero zero you, you subtract the two you will get to the gross profit that's your gross profit next add the discount it's easy right add the discount income this is your uh, figure before deducting the expenses and then you subtract all the expenses as we discussed remove the two-thirds which is just a thousand and uh, add the accrued wages rest of the list rest of the expenses general expenses insurance irrecoverable that's as given in the question provision for raffle that's i showed you how to calculate that 30 and then depreciation as well we calculated together 8192 and then we have 30409 okay profit for the year is 11036 fine Next, we have prepare Fatima's capital account. Well, for the capital account, we have the opening balance, 59000 Always, it's a credit balance. When is it? 2022. Oh, the opening balance will be 2021. April 1st. What happened during the year? 
if you remember there was a drawing right you could easily forget that so go back up and and check again there's a drawing which reduces capital and something that reduces capital will be debited to capital account we say drawings during the year so 2022 March 31st what else happened there was a profit which will increase the capital you can say profit for the year if you want how much was it 11036 is that it I don't think anything else happened to the uh, oh there's the cash drawings 8580 and nothing else so we can say that's goods and that's cash everything is looking good I know it's gonna be a balance brought down over here how do I know because it's always the case your capital account will in super extreme uh, weird cases would be you know a debit balance in very odd cases which isn't really tested in your exam it won't come like that fine 8580 plus 1300 is 9880 59000 plus 11036 70,036 70036 70036 minus 9880 60156 60156 Next question. Fatima would like to expand the business. She thinks that additional finance of 20,000 would be required for for the equipment which she would need for expansion, of course. Fatima's bank have offered to lend her 20,000 to be repaid after four years at an interest of 6% per annum. Should she agree to the bank loan? Currently, she has good profit. Wait, let me fix that. Let me, let me go up and check if there were any interest payments previously. Her trade payables are not many. There is no information on the return the expansion would give us. So that's something to consider. So one point you you may mention is that uh, we do we do not have information on whether the expansion of the business will generate good returns. That's one thing. Secondly, the six uh, percent interest. How much does it come down to if you take six percent? Twenty thousand. It's twelve hundred dollars, and so of course it will have an impact on our profits right it will impact her profits as well uh, she will have to pay repay the bank loan as compared to other ways of raising finance like let's say taking in a partner where you don't have to pay the partner back right so we may we can get some equity investment or we can get some partners right instead so we don't have to pay that money back so one disadvantage would be having to pay that money back and having to pay interest which will affect the profit figures for the upcoming years and also do we have any guarantees that we will maintain a good profit in the future to be able to pay back to pay the bank <clears throat> their interest amounts okay so those are the reasons for not taking the finance the reasons for taking the finance we can say the result or let's say the return from expansion may be much greater than what we're paying for interest right so return from the expansion may be much greater than what we're paying for the interest secondly it seems like we have four years uh, to pay so on average that's just five thousand a year so it's, it's not a big it's not a very big amount assuming that the profits are maintained it's not a very big amount to repay I would say uh, it is not 
a bad idea to take the bank loan because the interest rate is not too high and also it it allows us a lot of time to pay so uh, it, it seems like a good idea as long as it's going to ex expand the business and there will be results it's a good idea to take the loan now uh, for reference i will give you the mark scheme answer uh, copy pasted just so you can get an idea of what is expected from you in the exam there so there are some points for accepting the loan there are some points against accepting the loan very quickly let's go through this liability to bank ends after four years so that's a good thing which we considered earlier the interest would only need to be paid for four years again connected with the first point repayment of interest and in loan when due improves the relationship with bank now i don't know how we would have come up with that but that's a good point as well other ways of raising finance may require commitment for longer uh, period of time that's a good way maybe the best way for sole trader with limited access to funds to obtain extra finance we'll follow that of course because they have put in some really 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 good points right uh, you look at them nicely for the next time get some inspiration from here bank loan has to be repaid by a set date and that's a disadvantage bank may require security again may find it difficult to repay loan interest must be paid even if short of liquid funds there may be more appropriate ways of raising finance which we discussed earlier so uh, by the way this is not an exhaustive list this is not like that's it these are your options no you may give other options as well as long as they make sense as so, as long as you're slightly explaining what you mean right not just a, uh, not just a bullet point with no explanation it should not be in terms of bullet point it should be paragraphs okay and uh, do not forget to give your recommendation no matter what it is okay uh, it is not objective it is subjective it's your opinion justified opinion on which one you would go for both are fine right both have their ways to be justified so uh, go for the option you think is the best